Woohoo, look what I got. Loki wants to see. You're so nosy. This is for me. Woohoo. My new Saturday Muslim books. I'm so excited. All right. You ready, Loki? Let's tell everybody what's going on. Want to do that? Welcome to my channel and today I am going to do an unboxing. I've got a couple of goodies here and as I do this unboxing I'm going to let you know that I am participating for the first time in Jane Austen July. Now I sat on the sidelines last year because I was very busy and there were a lot of things going on. I got my puppy Loki last year in July and was also participating in Camp Nano. So I only did Jane Austen July by um, just watching other people's videos, but I didn't participate in any way on my own. And this year I am and I'm very excited. So a couple of things, I got a new mug. So hopefully it's in good shape. We're about to find out, you know how sometimes things are in delivery. I've gotten mugs before and they come broken and it looks fantastic. It's just got all the books by Jane Austen printed on it so it's another mug for me to drink out of and to go over on my bookshelf somewhere. I will find a place for it. Um, so to participate in the Jane Austen July the only thing you have to do is the first prompt which is read one of Jane Austen's six books and I am going to be reading Emma. And I haven't read Emma in a while, so I'm very excited to read Emma. Um, I have a book club and it's called Scripting the Book where we read uh, books and then watch the adaptations and then we talk about it. And so we are gonna be doing Emma and Clueless at the end of the month on July 31st. So we have a guest coming on to join us, maybe two, I'm not sure yet. But we do have at least one guest coming uh, to talk about Emma and Clueless. I am very excited finally to get a pretty box set of Jane Austen's books to put on my bookshelf. I'm a bookshelf minimalist, which means that once my bookshelf is full, something's got to go. Right now, I have plenty of room. But what I have for my Jane Austen collection is the old um, Penguin House classics, which I am grateful to have had. They are a lovely addition, but very simple, very basic, and I really, really have been just dying to have something pretty, and this feels so nice. I love it. They look so beautiful, and this is, this is more of what I was looking for to have on my bookshelf. The reason why it took so long for me to get something is because I wanted that extra book that has her unfinished work and Lady Susan and this one does right in here. So the Penguin House Classics included Lady Susan, the Watsons, and Sanditon in one small, small book. And so I was like, I need an edition that has all of the things. And let's take a look at one of these. Let's do Pride and Prejudice. This book is so pretty. Let's look how beautiful that is. And it comes with a bookmark. Yes. And I am not a spine breaker. <laughs> so I'm being very careful. I read carefully too. But this is gorgeous. Look at that. I'm incredibly happy with this book set. Love it. Very excited to have it. And for now, I will keep my other set of Jane Austens, but eventually they will most likely get donated because my daughters don't really read classics right now anyway. So I don't know if one of them will want to take it, but we'll see. So for now, this is my book set. So moving right along, the second prompt is to read one of her other works like Lady Susan or The Watson. I know that I plan on reading Lady Susan. I can't remember the last time I reread that one. I think maybe a couple years ago. Um, 
so that's gonna be a good one the third prompt I do not know if I'm gonna do the third one you don't have to do them all like I said you only have to do the first one to be able to participate so the third prompt is to read a Jane Austen nonfiction work like a biography the video I'm probably gonna link is um, the spinsters library she gave a lot of examples and a lot of um, detail to explain exactly what it is that the prompts mean number four read a retelling of a Jane Austen book or a work of historical fiction that takes place in Jane Austen's time. It can be a classic or it can be modern. I'm possibly going to read Bridgerton book four. Nope, book five. I stopped on book four, so I haven't read book five yet. Uh, so I might be reading that one or I might read Beyond the Pale. It's by Maria Grace. It's um, a Jane Austen retelling with dragons. So very very cool so one of those two if not both depends on the time what i'm going to actually be able to get done number five i don't know if i'm going to do read a book by a contemporary of jane austen some that's someone who was alive during her time and you could use um mary shelley walter scott anybody who was alive um who wrote during that time you can use one of their books Number six, which I'm definitely gonna do, because again, my book club scripting the book is gonna do Emma. So I'm going to watch one of the Emmas. I'm gonna figure out which one everybody wants to watch and we will all watch the same one. Outside of scripting the book, I'm going to watch the new Persuasion. It looks like a lot of fun, it looks different. Um, they've got just some different things going on so i'm very very curious and i'm always excited for a new adaptation from jane austen i like to see where how people just start with what she has given you and just kind of run with it and different um imaginations of it so um here we go. So